what's going on guys welcome back to the next episode thank you so much for all the support so far i hope you're really enjoying it if you are make sure you subscribe like leave a comment hit that notification bell as well that way you'll be notified when my next video is going to be and in today's episode we're playing against cheltenham again it is in the fa cup for second round replay unfortunately we did draw the first game very disappointing but i'm hoping we can win this one get through to the third round but before we show you the team let me catch up on what you've missed so the last episode you would have seen was the Cheltenham game. We did draw 0-0, very disappointing. We have had a game after that. It was against Northampton. We won 3-0. It was a very good result. We kept a clean sheet. We had 9 shots, 5 on target with 55% possession. We got a goal through Davies in the first half in the 48th minute. Can then added the second in the 68th. And Balogun finished it up in the 92nd. But we played very well. Very happy with how it's going. And with this result, let's show you what's happened to the league table. So in the league we've played 20, we've won 18 and we've drawn 2 games. We have a goal difference of 39 and we've got 56 points. We still have a game in hand over Rochdale in 2nd place but currently we are 12 points ahead of them so if we can win our game in hand it will go 15. But everything's going well so far and we're currently undefeated in the league. But we're here to focus on the FA Cup so let's have a look at the team for today. So this is the squad we're going to be using today. We've got Ashby Hammond in goal. At right back's Horsfield. In centre defence is Narty and Vassell. And at left back's Agungbo. In the centre midfield we've got Barjonis and Aziz. At right wing we've got Khan. Left wing is Ote. And attacking mid central is McGee. And up front we've got Balogun. We do have a strong bench. There are some that aren't match fit. But we should hopefully still get the win here and get through to the third round. But I'm excited to get into it. So let's get stuck in. And here's the lineup. So let's get in the dressing room. And let's carry straight on from the last match. Skip this and get stuck into it. So I'm hoping we can progress here. It was very disappointing in the last round. We did draw 0-0, but we should have won it. The ball's currently with a gungbo though. Moves forward here. Plays it to Ote. Back to Aziz to McGee. Aziz now. Plays over to Can. Can's in the box. Can he do anything? And it's a penalty. Great start to the game. Six minutes in. Horsefield's going to be taking it here. Hopefully he can finish it. He steps up. And he puts it away. Fantastic penalty in the right corner. 1-0. Great start to the game. Six minutes in. And hopefully we can get a couple more here and see off this game. Great penalty there. Good strike. But yeah, it was a very disappointing result. But we have been playing well in the league. So we did win 3-0 against Northampton. Very good result. Balogun's been absolutely smashing them in. He's got 15 goals in the league already. So hopefully that continues for the whole season. Hopefully, if we can get enough money, we can maybe try and sign them on a permanent deal. But if not, we'll maybe just see if we can get them on loan again. But we'll just have to see how things go. But we've got 15 minutes to half time so far. Playing well so far as well. But I'm hoping we can maybe get another one before half time. If not, we need to get a couple more. Just see this game off and make it comfortable for ourselves. And the boss with a gungbo again to McGee. To Aziz, a gungbo. Plays it forward to Balogun. It's cleared. Thomas has the ball. Plays it to May. Balogun gets there, but Warburton picks it up. Thomas on the ball to Warburton. To Sircom. Where now? Thomas, Chapman. Oh, and they've just hit the post. Good opportunity from them there, but they've just hit the post. So just before half time, we have taken the lead. It is 1-0. We have had five chances, only one on target, which was the goal, but we've got 52% possession. I'm hoping we can get a couple more goals and play better in the second half. But let's get in the dressing room. And let's go with we have been playing well so far, but there is room for improvement. We could be playing a lot better here. We'll give the guys a little bit of encouragement again, and hopefully we can get a couple of goals in the second half. They did almost equalize just before half time, so luckily they didn't there. But we do have some substitutions we can bring on if need be. And obviously we do have a couple of more league games coming up soon. But I'm hoping that we can get through here. Hopefully we do get someone good in the third round. It'd be good if we could get like a Premier League side just to get good revenue from it. We'll quickly make some substitutions. So we'll bring McGee off for Lamb. And we'll also bring Can off for Watmore. And let's bring Balogun off and we'll give Max McMillan a chance. He is young, but let's give him an opportunity here. It is a little bit of a risk, but we can probably take it. Hussey on the ball here. And they've scored from it. Raglan's got the goal. Very disappointing. We have just made substitutions as well, but I'm hoping that we can get a goal in the last 12 minutes here. Good ball in from Hussey. Knocks it in. And Raglan just gets her to knock it past Hammond. What we're going to do is we're actually going to move to balance here. Hopefully we can get a goal in the last 10 minutes. 
I don't ideally want to go into extra time or penalties because obviously the guys are already tired having to do this extra game. A gungbo now. Aziz to a gungbo. Aziz again. Barjonis on the ball. Plays it back to Vassell. Great ball over. Can McMillan score here? And he can. He scores first goal of the season. First game. Unbelievable. Just before the end of the game. Great strike there. Great ball over from Vassell here. McMillan hits it, it does get saved, but I don't know what the keeper's doing. He spills it, and McMillan just gets in there to score. And that should hopefully be the game done. Let's just see it off now. Very defensive. And that's the end of the game. Fantastic result there. We did just win it by the skin of our teeth, but we had 11 shots, 5 on target with 52% possession. We did get a goal early through Horsefield in the 8th minute. Raglan did then score in the 79th minute to make it 1-1, but we scored in the 91st just to finish off the game. Very happy with that because I didn't want it going any further, especially with extra time and penalties because it was already the case that we'd already had to play the replay, which was an extra game, which I didn't need. But very happy that we got the win there and we're through to the third round. Good win there. And there you have it, guys. We've just scraped through the second round. Very disappointing. We probably should have won by a bigger scoreline again. We did draw 0-0 the first game, just beat them 2-1 in the second game. But regardless, we have progressed and we already know who we're going to be playing. It is going to be against Newcastle United, which is huge. They are a Premier League club, so hopefully we can get some good revenue from it. Is at St. James's Park. But that is the end of the episode. I think what we are going to do, guys, is we are going to come back for the Stevenage game. They are fourth in the league, so it is going to be a good game. It is going to be a tough side to play against. But I do want to keep the momentum going in the league and hopefully we can win the title here. It'd be great to win back-to-back -back titles as well. But everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Day. Stay safe out there and I'll catch you next time.